Put your hands together for Preacher Lawson, everyone. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, cool. I was watching uh, I was watching TV uh, the other day, and I seen this dude on Oprah. He has a Guinness World Record for the fastest claps per second, which is pretty stupid. Uh, how, do you, how do you find that out? You know, like... <laughs> It's a little weird, and he does 17 claps per second, y'all. One 1,000. That is 17 claps. I got a question. How do you find out that you're the fastest clapper in the world? How do you figure that out? You just had a track meet. You're just cheering on your niece. Run, Kathy! Come on! Come on, Kathy! <laughs> Linda! Get the camera, Linda! <laughs> I, mean, I bet they love me at camp fries. I can't start a fire. Don't even worry about it, Kathy! My name is Preacher Lawson. Boom! He did it again. <laughs> Preacher Lawson. He You've smells, been on this. He smells good. Yeah. Thank you, man. You smell good, bro. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, beautiful. I know we well, just, yeah. Is there anything better in the world than a fist bump hand grab? <laughs> <laughs> so dope. Preacher, you've been on the show a few times, and every single time you absolutely kill. It's like basically a big running joke. Um, and you always ha it's always in your amazing tone and energy and voice. How do you even find out about somebody clapping 17 seconds? <laughs> I, I, was, I was watching Oprah with my mom when I was 17. <laughs> wow, double 17s on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was kind of weird. I was like, bro, what do you, like, how do you, because you know he warmed up in the, in the. Now in the I feel room. like you're sort of lying about the story. No, yeah, I'm I, no, I'm, I'm so kidding. Serious. When I was 17, I was watching Oprah with my, my grandma. And I just seen it. And then that was it. You, you've been actually doing really good. You've been doing college tours, I heard, lately. You've been on the road a lot. Uh, you've been blowing the fuck up, man. And I'm very proud of you. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. How long have you been on stand-up again? I, I hit eight years this year. All so right. I, I, so you're killing it. You're, you're taking over, just like we said that you would and knew that you would. How long have you been in L.A. now? A year. Right. And since, in, since that year, you were immediately on this show. You've been on a few times. Yeah. Always a new minute. Always crushing. Y'all got me like 400 Twitter followers. So I appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks look at so that. Much. Yeah. You got you, you, got you I, that, buddy. I just Trust hopefully me, you a can lot get of it up to 420, man. <laughs> <laughs> not everybody gets the 400 followers. You did a lot of that work, Preacher. Um, so I guess my question is this. You're doing good. You're making some money. You're doing stand-up comedy. What's going on in like your personal life that's interesting or different? Oh man, that's nothing really. I, I mean, I got a girlfriend. We've been talking for. It. Remember the girl that we broke up and then we didn't. She didn't. S sort I of. Leo remember that. Yeah, I remember. You, do you remember that? Yeah. Oh yeah, when well, she broke up with me or whatever. She, I try to play that like, well, if you do this way, then we ain't talking anymore. And then she was like, all right. And I'm like, no. You know, and I went. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think she was gonna do it, but then she left for real, and I was like. So we got back together, and then we've been together for like since August. Or something. Does she taste different now that she's back? Y'all, man, I was thinking. I was like, this is so weird. <laughs> this is not hot sauce anymore. No, nah, uh, she's. You can say or do anything, and it's funny. <laughs> is what I'm figuring out. <laughs> you can say or do anything. You should be the like. Tell me if if you. Had to tell me that I had cancer. How would you do it? I want. I want to see. If <laughs> He'd laugh first. Oh, Tony, you're about to die! <laughs> 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 Boom. Play, okay. <laughs> That's what I'm talking yo, about. Yo, <laughs> he's got to go. So bad. Like, it was funny for like five seconds. And I thought about what I just said. <laughs> That's <laughs> what happens when a fucking writer meets up with an actual performer. Are, are, are you getting are, are you getting development spots here at all? Have you been offered this at uh, all? Or I mean, no, not. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> this is all the development spot demon. here. Yeah. Uh, they, I mean, they put me last on the. Um, potluck tonight so that's pretty cool oh, that's good that's, no, a, that's, that's, that's a, good a highly spot. respected spot yeah how that, much mean, that means they're respected by your peers yeah how much time do you have like out on the road how much time do you I mean, do? I, do I mean i usually when i do college do you, about an hour you do an hour yeah that's a lot of fucking time yeah and he's that's high energy too by the end that's he's a lot of, that's a lot of yeah, time do you open for guys or you feature or do yeah, you, know you know what Where todd they berry i did stand up at a laundromat yeah. uh, a couple weeks ago there so you go yeah i like i thought you said wherever they pay you Huh? Wherever they, yeah, I didn't get paid, but I was trying out new jokes, and then they they were open. And uh. preacher, I, I would love to give you a spot Friday at the Death Squad show at the Ice House. Whoa! Look at that. 
You know what? You're right. I, I sort of wasn't thinking about this when you I'm, were saying I'm that, Polly. But I'm at, I'm at the madhouse. Ah, oh, fuck off then. Ah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> But what about next bruh, week? Bruh. Uh, the, father, the, the next okay, one. Yeah, now tell okay. Brian he has <laughs> cancer. Okay. <laughs> you bet that I can. <laughs> and I guess that goes worth mentioning when you do say the Mitzi Shore thing. One awesome thing that I, I guess I don't ever give a shout out enough is to Brian giving a lot of people spots regularly at the Ice House over the Every last day. few years. So that's a really awesome thing. If any if anybody's really honestly developing people, it's him. Fri you know those shows on Friday nights at the Ice House. You're the Fang Chows before they work here, the Jerons, Hormoses, all those guys. I the remember. Joel Berg. Yes. Berg. Yeah, Joel Berg's been hitting almost all of what my about, shows. What yeah. about Renee Lancaster? I think he's done this show. It's forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why That's you would Josh bring him up. <laughs> That's Josh Martin's favorite guy. It's Josh a, Martin's favorite guy is Let's Renee put that Lancaster. on record that uh, Josh Martin's favorite guy is Renee Lancaster. Can somebody write that down for yeah. me? Preacher, if uh, let's say that, um, let's say, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's say that you just found out that, I'm trying to think of what, like, the fucking just worst possible. I got one. S yeah, go ahead. You're, you got to tell my uh, m grandmother she's got to go. You're deporting my grandmother. Yes. You have to deport You're Joel's Mexican grandmother. <laughs> okay. Deport your Mexican grandmother? Yeah, okay. You come yeah. to the door. Did she come over illegally or, like, because you're snitching I'm not going to confirm or deny or any of this. Oh, okay. No. Yo, yo, I'm saying also, hypothetically. Also, don't hit the mic stand so hard. Yeah. Just, you oh, know, okay. it's I was going to kick the mic stand no, as his just, grandma. All right. Well, like, well, you that could that still do it, but it doesn't have do to it. be so violent. I don't, I he really, he really does have a good point. It's it's a distraction. Yeah, You're such a great oh, okay. performer that you yeah. don't need to do that. That's a habit that I oh, feel yeah. like okay. people that are mellow that are like using it for a thing use more. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. you really don't need. I, it's it just takes away, okay. and especially on a show like this where it's very oh, much yeah. audio based. You know, hundreds of thousands of downloads. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and, I ha and I have to buy new microphones. You oh, know. Okay, right. oh, yeah, and there's that part. Um, but uh, yeah, Not deport it my is grandma. A, it, is a, it is things that sometimes people lean on. Deport his grandma, <laughs> yo. Anyway. So go for it. I'm yeah. gonna kick yeah. them. You guys know the punchline. Well, line. you can okay. still do it, but okay. you don't have to. You can no. like mime okay. it and shit. I, I want to see you like. I want to see you like walk into the room, sorta. You know what I mean? Like, like you're just like, like kick it. Like I can still kick it though, right? Wait a second. Yeah, what are you doing? Just, Wait, what's was, going on? Don't do. Don't do. I was talking. Okay, okay right, stop cool. whatever you're doing with Polly. No, I don't know what's going on there. Stop doing it. Deport Joel's grandma. Okay. We. There she goes. That was good. Preacher, you're an unstoppable beast. I love guys like you coming on this show and, uh, you know, not being above anything and coming in and wrecking the house. There he goes, Preacher Lawson, everybody. He's on Twitter at Preacher Lawson. I mean, that's, a, that's blatantly a star of the future. You understand. People like that don't just not fucking make it. One more time for Preacher. Come on. It's not easy, people. One watch, watch all these slouchy, lazy fucks come up here and try to deliver jokes after that. He did smell good, though. <laughs> Whoa, we forgot to ask him if he's taking it seriously. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll never know. DVK. <laughs> I'm loving this. Can I just do a little history of this room really quick? Because when I come in this room, I feel a little history. Let's hear it. There used to be this gay uh, dude that used to sit over there. His name was Falstaff. And uh, he was this like openly gay like host guy, and he used to uh, comedians used to c come up here, and they would have to like blow him to like get stage time. Wow! Back in the '80s, it was pretty cool. The so good old days. I blew him a couple times. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did. Yeah, Your I mom did. owns the club, Paul. Yeah, but I like to blow fat, chubby gay dudes sometimes <laughs> just to do it. So, this show is is. I mean, can I? Because I mean, yes. I'm, I'm not on it all the time, obviously. Yeah. And I, I've heard it, you're judging other people. Pretty much, right? I mean, you're commenting. Not on really, but they, they well, sort of, kinda. that's not I really mean, the way I look at it. Like, right. we're just sort of talking about what just happened. But I'm trying to bring my mom into this. Okay, go ahead. Okay, that's where my come from is. Okay. See, there's no one here running the comedy store. These guys run the fucking comedy store. Not Back really. The, I'd have yes, better spots yes. if I ran the comedy store, yeah. Polly, but go ahead. I would have okay. spots. Well, the people, 
Adam Egit, Eric, yeah. right? Yeah. And all the other people. They all do a great There's job. There's no by Mitzi way. Shore kidding. here anymore. There spot. used to be a Mitzi Shore here. Me spot. There used to be someone that would develop the comedians, Roseanne, all these. Yeah. There's no one here developing. So this place is just like, so you're pretty much Mitzi Shore. Pretty much. Well, I mean, not Give me really, a spot. Give me a spot, Tony. Give me a spot. That's not true. I mean, I mean, there's no one that really. Is Adam doing it? Of course. What are you really? talking about? I mean, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Come, do, come talk to me after you up. Listen, does Adam sit that long w- as you do? With Adam these has people? done this show. Adam, oh, Adam okay. yeah, Adam was a guest on the show, but I believe. But does he do it downstairs? What are you asking me? When does the different comedians come up on stage. Does he do what? Here, he's that. Brian, what? Does he do that? what? Brian. Are you talking about development spots? I'm going to answer the question that he asked me. Yeah, developing comedians. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. I've done five development spots, and then I got fired from doing development spots. Not once was there anybody in there. Not cool, bro. Then you have to say so. You won't. You're you're part. You of should be downstairs with Adam. That's all I'm saying. That doesn't make any sense, Polly. I'm one of the well, top young bring, rising comedians can, in the world. I'm not gonna go. We run can bring the Falstaff into it, Perry. <laughs> <but possibly>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fir- the first development page is through <laughs> me, Falstaff. <laughs> <laughs> he was amazing. He had elephant titus legs. It was awesome. <laughs> And he used to Wait, wear the guy that would all get the time. The guy he that used would to sit right there and play the fucking piano and used to fucking make guys blow him for stage time. It was the best. Could he give it out? What? Stage? Could he give stage time? Yes. He, he, we get, you know how like the comic gives you this room to pretty much do whatever you want? Yeah. That's how it was with him. Uh. It was the best. <laughs> <laughs>